Alright guys, it's Turbo here, and I'm talking about some NBA today. I'm talking about the DeMarcus Cousins trade between the Kings and the New Orleans um, Pelicans. Um, to me, for the uh, Pelicans, this is a smart trade, and for the um, Kings, it's a dumb trade. And I have some valuable points on why I think that. If you're coming here to watch this, you're, you're obviously trying to figure out like what why would the Kings make a trade like this or you're like in denial that they made a trade like this or because if you if you like if you know they made the trade like I don't see anybody why you would want to well never mind I'm just rambling anyways I can see that they they probably did it for more for DeMarcus Cousins because he's more of, like he's too good to be there in a way like I'm not saying any one player is better, like better than an organization, but I feel like they've been talking about this for a while. And then, like, think about that. He's coming off a great All Star game, and then all of a sudden he gets the news right at the press conference. I mean, like, come on, dude. Like, they he's he was happy that this happened. He just kept his composure in front of everybody, talking about some it is what it is or whatever he said. And if you're wondering about the chemistry between them, is I mean, like he's a great passer and he and he's a great scorer. So I mean, like, and he gets great rebounds. And then it's not just Anthony Davis guarding the paint. It's just it's him and Anthony Davis. So for the quicker players, the more swift, quicker, faster players, any Anthony Davis can pick them up. And then for the stronger, for and then for the more stronger um, post players, um, Demarcus Cousins can pick them up. This this was very smart on on New Orleans part and very stupid on the Kings part. They got rid of somebody that had the mo that played the most games, had the most minutes, and um had the most points on the team. Like that that was a they just gave up a franchise player for no for no reason. Like I I cannot process in my brain the reason why they would get rid of him. I could I could like I don't understand. This dude he he's the core of your whole team. Like this team is about to fall real fast. I mean like fall from where they are right now. It's a one-man show, and now all of a sudden he's gone. This, this dude, he, you can say he's one of the best centers. He is, you, can, you can make a fight on why he is the best center in the league. I'm not saying he is, but I'm saying he's in at least the top five. Anthony Davis is in the top five, too. I mean, like, if you're going off season stats, like, let's just say the stats, he, well, you know the stats transfer. So him and Anthony Davis, they, like, have the most rebounds and points in a game. Well, averaging in a game than ever in NBA history, other than Tim Duncan and I forgot what the other dude's name is, but yeah, they're averaging that. I mean, like they're they're about to do something now in the West. I mean, like they're not going. To, I don't see them going to any finals. I mean, like you have two fantastic post players, right? But I mean, like everybody knows you need more than a post player. I mean, like. You could go to the finals and win it with a point guard and a small forward. And if you think I'm lying, just look at the Cavaliers. Other than Kyrie and um, LeBron, who do they have? And don't be like they got Kevin Love, Kevin Love, Iman Shumper, and all of them. Who went to the All-Star games? I mean, like, who went to the finals and who, who, who which two players out, um, got 40 points in the same game? Come on, dude. Like, if you have a point guard and a small forward, you can go, but... A power four in the in a center, I I just don't see it. So if they get if they get like a, a like let's say if Melo went there, see exactly. But I mean like as far as, as far as the playoffs they're going, but as far as the finals, they're not going to the finals. And if they do, I can I can actually see them winning. Cause but if they play the Cavaliers, they're going to lose. But if they play like any other team other than the Cavs, they can win. If they go to the finals, which won't happen this year, because they gotta get chemistry going. If they can get that chemistry, I'm talking about not even on 99. It has to be on 100, 100 plus. And if it's on that, then they good, easy. I mean, like, well, I'm, I mean, like, yeah. But anybody that was a Kings fan, I, I hop a bandwagon somewhere because th that ship is done. You can follow the Marcus Cousins, just be like you is with the King because you're a player, or I don't know, but I wouldn't be a favorite. I wouldn't. 
want to be a Kings fan anymore. Because obviously they don't want to win. Something's wrong. They were drunk when they did that. If DeMarcus, he could, DeMarcus Cousins could come to me every day complaining about how he don't like playing for this team. I'd be like, hey, it's not my fault. I, I would tell him if, if he has a replacement for him, then I can. And it has to be a decent one. If, if he has a replacement, a replacement for him, then I'll let him go. But if he don't, well, oh well then. Hey, you gonna have to tough it out because we need you. And I'm pretty sure he's not. That mess is crazy. Right after the All-Star game, the man got the news. Well, anyways, it's a dumb decision. They shouldn't have done it. Got rid of their core player. He has the most games played, more, most points and everything. He's just an all-around great player. If you're wondering about him sharing the ball, when he gets to New Orleans, he's going to be able to share the ball. It's not like Melo and Kobe on the same team or LeBron and KD. It's going to be a great sharing thing. They're both playmakers, so you don't have to worry about that. But as far as finals, they're not winning nothing this this year. You just gonna have to wait for it. And that's it. Turbo out.